Earnhardt Jr. is 11. Now he's got those fresh tires. You see Logano right behind Jr. Looks like about a four wide battle back there. The 88 car coming. We saw him get right up against the wall a couple laps ago running. Watch him go all the way up across the racetrack. He's got plenty of fuel. He's got four tires and all he's doing, he's on offense right now trying to get all the spots he can. And he's come up eight spots since lap 161 there. Now he's inside the top 10. This is the best race car they have. The one they qualified third in Indianapolis, the brand new Lance McGrew built Henry car. They thought they might have something for him today. Didn't practice well, didn't qualify that well. But as the race has progressed, DJ, this car has gotten better and better. There's Jimmy Johnson and Brian Vickers, one, two, just about uh, one turn away from where you see Earnhardt coming in a hurry. It won't be long. Be, Jimmy Johnson will see that 88 coming. Probably a lap short, even saving under them yellows. We just got to see what happens. I mean, keep running. Doesn't sound like he's too confident. I was just getting ready to ask you if you're Chad Canal, so what are I'm you nervous. thinking right now? I'm nervous. I'm very nervous right now. 13 to go, man. Everyone's saving fuel there. They're starting to pedal up front even more. Can't do it, man. Keep digging. Looks like Vickers might catch Johnson here and get this lead, too. But I think Jimmy's really trying to save fuel. I'm not sure what uh, Vickers' plan is here. He might just be running as hard as he can and get as much as they can. Yeah, yeah Vickers a couple tenths faster than Johnson last lap. Remember, both Edwards and Gordon in third and fourth are running on empty as well. And back in June, Jimmy Johnson tried to stay in front of Greg Biffle and ran himself out of game. Brian Vickers hasn't won a race. He's in 87 starts. Talladega, October of 2006. If he can hang on, that would be huge for that team. And Mark Martin, you'll see he's lost touch completely with these leaders. He is really trying to save fuel. And Vickers right now can get up here and draft a little bit, and he can save a little bit more fuel just running right behind Jimmy Johnson at this point in time. There's the 88. Three Hendrick cars in the top four here at Michigan. Now Johnson and Vickers have slowed down some more here from what they were running. I don't know if that's uh, calculated or if their, their tires are just giving up at well, this they, point. They can't slow down anymore. Junior's going to catch them. If they slow down, they have sl already slowed down, like I said, a couple of tenths. That may be enough in these next seven laps for Junior to ca catch them and pass them. You won't have to wait too much longer. Three laps to go. Again, back in June, we had uh, two leaders run out of gas here at Michigan on the final lap of the race. Mark Martin running third and won the race. The three guys right now, first, second, and third, very close to making these final two and a half laps. Toyota's never won at this racetrack. They would like nothing more than to kind of spoil the day of the big three up here. Brian Vickers would just love this. He's got himself in a great position. He sits right Oh, here he goes. Jimmy's out of fuel. Jimmy's out. Coming to pit road. So with three laps to go, Johnson falls off. Back it out, back it out, back it out. Okay, now we've got two laps to go. Vickers can really back out for a minute. And this looks like deja vu for the 48 car having to come in and get fuel. Jeff Gordon's just under a second and a half behind Vickers. He got pressure go. When he got pressure go. Wow. Two races in a row for these guys, 48 team. Here comes now, Vickers. Now what about Vickers and Gordon? Remember, Gordon pitted on 149, so did Vickers. I tell you, Jeff Gordon kind of sat there and ran, didn't run as fast as those front two guys for a long time. He might have uh, been able to save enough. Okay, here they come for the white flag. Coming down, as you mentioned, Toyota has never won in Michigan. Brian Vickers, the pole sitter, hasn't won since 2006. Pulling hard off turn two. And it was right here back in June that the leader's car began to sputter and cough. That was Greg Biffle. Right now, Vickers still under power. Looking good so far. Yeah, he was probably about half throttle going down the back straightaway because he knows that Jeff Gordon's in the same position. He doesn't really have to worry about him. He's going to make it. Brian Vickers looks like he's going to make it happen. Get to us, bud. Get it to us. And coming down for the checkered flag for his second career win, Brian Vickers does it at Michigan. Jeff Gordon will come second. Dale Jr. Hey, third. Here's Mark Martin right. losing spots. He goes through, turns three and four. He's just in the middle of three and four right now. Yeah, he's going to lose a lot, to lose a lot of spots. How about Brian Vickers? Matt Kenseth running out right as he gets to the line. He lost a couple of spots. And Mark Martin still has not made it across. 
coasting down on a turn four as you look at uh, Brian Vickers, the winner. Wow. Mark's going to be about the last car on the lead lap. That's what we were talking about. That's a real gamble. Brian Vickers, what a great job by that young man today. Sat on the pole here for the third consecutive third race in a row and uh, had not gone to victory lane since October of 2006, 87 races ago. Jamie. First win here for Toyota, first win for Red Bull Racing and Ryan Pemberton, crew chief. What were these moments like for you? How close were you on fuel? I think that shows right now, oh, man, he's still got enough. Uh, I have to say that uh, I learned from the first few races how good he was at saving fuel. I, and if you listen to us, I didn't say a word to him. He knew exactly what he had to do. Uh, that's, that's way cool, man. I can't say enough about this team, uh, what everybody's building. Thanks, sir. Uh, the cars that we're building now, I mean, just feel so good coming to the racetrack, so confident. The drivers, uh, he, he's right there. And it's, it's man, it, it's, it, it was fun to come to the racetrack this week, and, and uh, this tops it off here. Long in the coming for Brian Vickers. 87 races since his only sprint cup victory dock, and he does it from the pole.